just three things the Crisco shortening, the tuna can with the lid, and four professionally made wicks. These, by the way, are only about five bucks on Amazon for around a hundred. First thing we're going to do is pop four holes in the lid. I'm just marking them with a screw here. Now just take either your power drill or just one of these craft drills will do. And I'm going to drill four one-eighth inch holes. The metal is very thin. So you can just use one of these craft drills and turn it a few times and it'll drill right through. Next step, just drop the wicks through. Like that and like this. There's no point in fastening these, by the way, because tapes and glues and anything that you use will just dislodge once it's in the hot oil for a while. All right, now just put the Crisco in. No need to melt it or anything. Don't worry about the wicks when they move like that. Just put it in, and we'll straighten those out later. That's pretty good right there. Don't fill it all the way to the top. We want to kind of slope it down a little bit. I'm going to pretty much cut it off at this point. It's about two-thirds down, maybe as far as three-quarters down. Any farther than this, and I'm really thinking I'm going to run the risk of this starting to boil. As a matter of fact, I think I can see some tiny little bubbles, you know, forming on the lid that's in the bottom. So, yeah, this is the time to shut it off. Don't go any farther than that. Then when you're done, just clean it up. A little soap and water. That's what's left of the old wicks. And when you're ready, just of course toss those, use new wicks and new Crisco and you're good to go. One last thing, I always keep like a metal spatula nearby so I can easily extinguish the flame. Just drop it on top. If you don't have that, just use the bottom of a metal cooking pan. That works good too. It seems like it's working okay for me. No signs of the grease getting too hot. A sign of that would be if it's boiling. You should never see the grease boiling, and even worse, you should never see the actual grease smoking. Typically what will happen before a flash fire is first it boils, then the smoke, and then just seconds after you see smoke coming off it, then it could go nuts, and the whole thing, that could turn into just an inferno shooting up towards the ceiling. So I just watch for the boiling. I've never seen anything like that. That's mainly why I spaced the four wicks apart. I didn't use more than four, and I spaced them far apart, but not too close to the edge. That way, if the wicks tend to want to move, sometimes they'll move a little. But just in case, if one of them wants to fall to the side, it'll still stay well within the perimeter of the can.